been here for 50 or so plus years, I think. This is my morning project of the day, is to remove this book shelf. It's been adhered to the wall loosely, as you can tell, for the last 40 or so years. No, actually 50 years is what the previous owner told me. The shelves are going to be kind of easy, because there's these pegs here that they're resting on. I'll have to find a tool so I can pry this open. Um, it's not going to be easy. It takes up a lot of the space and we also don't have a lot of books. The previous owner had this bookshelf absolutely full of books. And one day about 20 years ago, she says that there was a leak here and all of the books got ruined. Most of them, you can tell by the mildew smell. So this is the remnants of that leak. They've since patched it up, of course, because the walls are in great shape. However, there are some remnants of that leak here below that we'll need to finish up. These are the pegboards begun to remove and the shelving. So let's see how we get on today. Hopefully I can get all this done this morning. I realized safety first goggles because when I have removed some of the pegs, I got some dust particles in my eyes and gloves because some of those are really stuck together very well. I think these have been painted over a few times. So that's why some of the shelves Okay, so I finished taking off the shelves and now I need to figure out a way to pry these away from the wall without really having the tools necessary. So I've been having to use a hammer to pry apart the backing here and it looks like it's one piece. It can't be. The is it one big strip? All right, so I mentioned removing the bookshelf, well, the heavy front base of it, it's gonna take a, a tool or maybe a handsaw, but I managed to get out the backing just by hand. Just like that, it just came right off. So I'll try to do it for the rest of them. Uh, yeah, let me see, do it with you guys. Oh. This is gonna be a complete mess. <laughs> I'm just 
get one whole piece. Just get this backing off, it would be so good. We were told that this house doesn't actually have a foundation. But anyways, I kicked through the bottom border here and I just used my hand and I see that this is really loose. So that's really, really good news. That's great news. I cannot believe that I was able to move one of these panels with my hand. This is what we're looking at right now. I mean, just look at that. Just the wood is so just very fine and tender and just seasoned, I suppose. Much Oops. So this is the situation. The owner did confirm that the original wood was still intact. However, this whole back of the wall needs to be refinished. This is gonna be a much bigger job than I anticipated. As you see, I still have a few more rows. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five more rows to go. Oh dear. Okay, so I was able to get that ready. It's a mold issue, but that's okay. And it's an old house, and we're gonna expect that. At least this is coming, this is coming off easily. You see that? I should be finished with this before the end of the day. On the back wall here, we had a pile of really wet wood. A lot of it has deteriorated. So for the smaller ones, Justin Mother, who's a gardener and a landscaper, had told us that we can use these smaller branches and obviously the rest of the leaves for mulch, which we've set over here temporarily. Justin's currently breaking down the limbs, or the, why do I keep saying limbs? Justin is currently breaking down the branches of the fig tree, a lot of it which we can use for kindling, and I don't know what he's gonna do with the larger branches. What are you gonna do with the larger branches, honey? Store them longer and then cut them. Oh, okay, so we can use all that for firewood? Eventually, yeah. All right, let's get back to work. So we are both at hard at work, except for this one who's just enjoying himself. I think this is the way that dogs clean their teeth. I'm not sure. But we are making progress in my little corner here. It looks really good. Compost pile is definitely grown. And there's Laffy. Thanks for helping us out, dog. <laughs> He's obsessed with the bark and balls and bottles and beer cans. It's a 
interesting facts about our dog. All right, let's see how well I can clear this area by using just a rake. All right, so things are looking much better back along here. Justin's stick pile is coming together. There he goes. I'd like to flatten out the barrier along this rock wall here so we can take out these pile of rocks. And I've just noticed today this cute little window, wooden. It did, so nothing can get through. Yeah, what a wonderful discovery, huh? All right, this is what we have so far. <laughs> I thought about doing this with those and I went over here along this wall and I saw this covered up with leaves. Hey, two great minds take alike, huh? <laughs> All right, clearing out this corner. So I've just cleared up the back wall here, made a little rock formation. <laughs> I did my best over here. We're gonna have this wood, this wood hauled away. <laughs> You're obsessed. And I'd like to get started on clearing this path here, raking these leaves that lead to the secret garden gate door. And yeah, that's what we're working with. Just clearing a nice path going around. All right, so I did my best clearing out the path to the secret garden. I just have a another pile to work out. And then I discovered this. What is this tarp doing here? It's a mystery. But yeah, looks much better. One of the best gifts for my husband. So I'm just using these handheld cutting shears to cut down these thorny bits. It should not be hanging over this wall. Path is looking much better. Last pile. Try to clear up some of this overgrowth 